Welcome to the next installment of one of our videos we're going to be making. First thing we want to go over with you is this is a filter aid medium. Uh, the name of our product that we're going to be releasing is the Kenna Sondergarten Silicate Pulver. It's basically a high purity silicate powder. Um, how this powder works is it's an extremely fine crystalline powder. Uh, it feels a little glassy, but it's very dry and it's not exactly sharp like glass. So what's the difference between filtration powders? A lot of people know about um, diamondaceous earth is one of them. Carbon can be used as a filtration powder. Um, clays can be used as a powder. There's lots of different things, even pellets, pelletized products. However, when you get to uh, precision powders like the ones that Millipore offers, uh, we want to enter a product that's specifically catered for cannabis. Now, what does that mean? That means that without using any of these same substances and to get a 100% organic and non-toxic label, we have to create these powders and have them made uh, in laboratories. Uh, our powder has 700 grade, 950 grade. We have elements of rhombohedral quartz and then the silicate elements that are present may be pyrenetic, keatite, moganite, and crystobalite. These are all 100% safe to use, organic, natural, and they're all made in the USA. What we do is, the process of making silicate powders is roughly uh, just basically hot gases and um, it's like a big oven and they send in other types of components with silicate dioxide for instance and it forms a crystal. It's kind of like a silt that comes out. Um, I'm not very familiar with how custom systems like that, I mean, custom powders are made. What I am familiar is you can order uh, powders to have specific particulate sizes. Sometimes they're triangular, they're five sided, they're eight sided, lots of different things. And how the powders sit together when they're mixed, evenly homogenized, when you run it through the system will determine how, how well fluids will flow. Now one thing that we want to notice, certain types of components and oleo resins are sticky, they're gummy, and we don't like those things they tend to gum up filter papers and they don't and when you refilter it drains it back down and it'll eventually come back in here. This powder is measured exactly to uh, the there are certain components that are smaller than cannabinoids like THC and CBD and um, there's other components that are longer like sequential chains of turpins etc if it was to exist in this liquid that we're going to be filtering. What is really important to understand is what kind of stuff this powder is going to capture, whether it be carbon dust, whether it be weird dyes, um, other components that normally just flow through filter paper and get stuck and left behind with the other stuff, but it can still be present. So the point is we want to remove as much as possible. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to show you how fast a under one micron glass filter is going to operate before we put this stuff on. running about 600 milliliters. That's it, we're done. So that's the speed of roughly 600 milliliters of alcohol. Now we're gonna create a cake and show you how to do that. First things first is we want to find out how much we're going to put inside of here. So in this case, we'll measure our cup. Okay, now we're back here. 
as we started were basically added some of the filter aid into a flask. We are going to create our slurry. The key here is to make sure this is very, very uh, thick. You don't want it to be, you know, too liquidy or or too thick. But you want it to be pretty thick. It can be a little bit tricky. Got to mix it on really, really well. Put some alcohol on. Here. Okay, so what we've done here is we mix the desired amount of our filter media with alcohol in this case. We tested it and showed you how it flows without any um, stuff on a one on less than one micron glass paper. What we're gonna do is show you the nominal flow rates of this filter array. Now notice we have six or seven different known minerals in here and components from silica powders that are engineered for flow, uh, capturing things and allowing things to um, kind of like settle an auto level on the filtration paper properly. So step one is you're going to pour this on slowly and you're going to create a bed and you're going to wait for the alcohol to dissipate but you do not want the bed to go dry. So we've created roughly a one inch bed. And we're gonna zoom in and show you how this bed flows. Now note, this is approximately one inch of silicate media. What this media is doing is it's sieving all of your compounds. More chemical compounds will tend to flow through while less heavier and impure compounds will get loaded to the top. As you can see the flow rate here, it's unreal compared to standard diamond earth. It is very, very efficient. And with a heavy solute, you have approximately 1% less. We don't really see it slow down beyond this. So, you can run cold laxes, you can run carbon product, you can run bleaching clay product, there is any kind of product can go through here and will come out crystal clear on the bottom and will all be left behind. Whereas normally you'd use glass wool, so you can out, normally you use glass wool for your initial wax removal. In this case we would be having a heavier particulate. This heavier particulate in this case it would be carbon, something that would bog up the filter. Well the carbon would normally float around and the rest of it will flow through. We'll show you a sample of what that looks like next. All right, now we're gonna show you what it's like with a five to 10% solute with carbon. Uh, we've added a little bit of extra product to it so you see it load up very heavily. This is a, about three or four times as much as what you would normally notice uh, for the fluid that we put in. We just wanna show you what happens when you're using this filter aid. So keep it moving like always, one more time. Now as you can see, we've loaded an extra thick cake. This isn't a small cake. Our mineral that we're using allows us to flow exponentially faster than standard mediums. And you'll have almost a chromatographic, uh, like a chromatography type result. It's not chromatography by any means. All it's gonna do is it's gonna settle the finer components in the other portions of the silica media while the heavier portions and the larger particulate allow the flow to move. As you can see, if you zoom in very carefully, this is a fully loaded solute with carbon. And this is the flow that we get. From Summit Research, we'll be releasing this next week packaged up in buckets. We don't see us selling this stuff in little bits. We wanna sell it in buckets because it needs to be used quite a bit. 
this product that we found after everything that we've tried, having to order it manufactured specifically for our specifications and engineered for cannabinoid and oleo resin filtrations, this filter aid operates and flows faster than anything else in the market. And we want to be able to show you this so you knew what you were getting into, knew what you were buying. When this is going to be finished shortly after here, we're going to take it apart and show you the actual result and how well this works. So we loaded in this flask roughly 500 milliliters, and we're down to approximately less than 100 right now. As you can see, we haven't lost any flow. This is flowing just as fast as we would have guessed earlier. When we mentioned there's about a 1% difference, it's not much noticeable. This stuff does not stop the flow. Unlike dietitian's earth or clays, other things that you use are have powders and really fine particles that don't allow for it to do what we're trying to get it to do. What we want is a specific flow rate. And as you can see, it just stopped right as the cake dried out. And let me show you the inside of this cake. As you can see, the filter's clean. The alcohol is sparkling. The filter paper is untouched, and in this case, we break the cake in half. This is what you see. Normally, with oleo resins, you will not have cannabis in here or cannabinoids. This product specifically will not absorb cannabinoids. You won't find wet yellow cakes. It will go right through the cake and take everything from remainder uh, particulates, plant dyes, powders. It'll even neutralize the pH. So we're gonna clean up this mess that we've made here. We hope you guys had a really um, eye-opening experience for a new product. Uh, we stand behind this product as as we should, it's made in the USA and it won't fail on you. This product will outperform anything in the market and we're going to have it available in about three and a half gallon buckets to five gallon buckets. Visit the website or give us a call, we'll be more than happy to help you guys out.